So today we're speedrunning through Minecraft Pocket Edition, which I'm gonna be honest, it's a mistake. This game is not great for speedrunning, but we're doing it anyway, and we're gonna start our speedrun right now. We are gonna be doing a set C glitchless speedrun and not random C glitchless for some reasons I'll get into later. But the basics behind it is because I'm on an iOS device, I have to use the most updated version of Minecraft Bedrock Edition 1.16.2. And this makes a lot of things in the game much worse for speedrunning. Like I said, we'll get into that when we get there. Right now, let's just start the speedrun if this screen feels is like loading ever so we can start the speed run as soon as we start moving forward and the first thing we want to do is we're going to get three wood and this is all the wood we're going to use for the entirety of the run doing set seed glitchless speed runs is very nice because you just know the exact amounts of things you have to get and yeah that's all i have to worry about so you can see we're already in a village we're going to get some beds just like in minecraft speed running for java edition we do use beds to kill the ender dragon but we do it in a different way with the way we have to do it it only takes three beds and it's actually a really cool way of killing the ender dragon so i'm excited to show it to you guys we're also going to get some hay bales because because those are going to be nice for first breaking our fall and they're also going to be food we can take some stuff from the zombie spawner so we're going to get a bucket we're going to get a couple of gold and some string drop down here use the hay bale if we didn't have the hay bale there we actually would have died which is pretty interesting and it's like hay bales are really good in this game i didn't actually know that before speed running but yeah we're already in the fortress for some reason the fortress spawns extremely close to your spawn and i don't understand how that happens and I also don't think it's supposed to happen, but it is what it is. And I mean, I will take it because that just means it's a lot easier for me. So we have to make this golden pickaxe so we can actually make it through there. We're going to go right in this room and we're going to be able to get some iron along with some more bread and we can make a sword, a pickaxe and a bow, which all we will be using later. We're now where we have to go to the end. But of course, we don't have the stuff we need to go to the end just yet. Before we do that, we have to go to the nether. So we actually make a nether portal right here. Nether portals aren't that hard to make, but they're a lot harder when you're doing it on mobile edition. But we're also gonna light it by using wood and lava, which is a cool way of doing it in bedrock edition this lights the portal much easier than it does in java edition like it just happens pretty much instantaneously so you don't need a flint and steel which is really nice because that'd be some extra stuff we have to do and i don't really feel like it so we made in the nether and the first thing we want to do is get blocks because we do have our gold pickaxe it's really good at mining this netherrack we use that up got a bunch of it and we're gonna get some more i like to have about 64 netherrack before i leave this point so yeah we're just gonna go through and get a little bit more of this i like getting a little bit extra than what you need just because I like being safe, but we could even deal with less. And yeah, the way that you just play this game in general feels so weird, like how you're placing these blocks and it allows you to do things. Mobile is an interesting place. I played a little bit of mobile when I was a kid, but it definitely took a lot of stuff to get used to. And I don't know why I'm going off about this when I should be talking about how we're already in a bastion. And this actually goes into why this version is so bad for speedrunning. For Minecraft 1.16.2, they made bastion trading and trading with piglins terrible. In 1.16.0, you can trade with piglins and they have a 5% chance of dropping you pearls. But in 1.16.2, that chance goes down to 2.4. And on top of that, the trades only give you two to four pearls per each trade. So yeah, you have to get really lucky if you want a good run in this. And sometimes you have to get really lucky if you even want to run at all. You can trade all of this gold and sometimes the piglins just won't have stuff for you. It's awful. So I'm going to trade all of this. I see that guy. There's also the guy in the black shirt and that guy's really annoying because he refuses to trade with you, which is another reason why this is bad. But hey, thank you for being right there. I appreciate it. He just stood right there, right? For me to go and move him. But we have a pretty good amount of piglins right now and i see pearls and a good amount of them this might actually be an adequate run i'm gonna cover this off i do also hear a ghast which i don't know where that is hopefully it's not anywhere too near us so right now we have six pearls we want at least 11 but even more would be better so hopefully they'll just feel like being nice people today we also got a ton of fire reses we got obsidian which we're also gonna need so we're doing pretty well on the stuff part i'm just hoping that we can get fairly fast trades we have three pigs right here which is really nice and we can actually speed this up more because every time you break a gold block the pigs will stop their trade give you whatever they're going to trade you and then start another one because there's more gold for them to trade so i can go through just repeatedly break these two gold blocks and hopefully i need like at least two more trades there's one of them okay that's very nice guys i just need one more i need a kind of good one okay please be three 
and we can deal with this, but I really don't want to. Uh, we should probably just go. I'm gonna do it this way. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my fire res. Yeah, this is not good because we need a good amount of pearls to do everything. And this isn't exactly what we want, but what we can do is just build over here and go off to the blaze spawner. Oh, I wish I could have gotten some more pearls though. I also should probably eat really quickly and we'll do that in just a second. I just gotta build over here. What, okay. Yeah, I guess we'll do that. And there's that guy. Oh my gosh. So we have the fire res, which is going to be nice because with fire res, you don't have to worry about the spurts that the blazes do. They can still melee damage you, but you don't have to worry about like their general attacks. So yeah, they can just hit me. It doesn't really matter. And now we have this guy to deal with, dude. Okay, well, we're still alive. That's gonna lose us a bit of time, but I'm still gonna go with this run because we got really lucky with our pearl trades and we are not gonna get that lucky again. So we're gonna have to build all the way back up here. Hopefully we're gonna have enough blocks. I'm also a little worried about that because we need a good amount of blocks when we're doing the dragon fight. Okay, where is that one guy? Dude, get away from me. Oh my God, there's another two. These guys are gonna be so annoying. I'm just gonna play this fairly safe as blazes are shooting stuff at me. But luckily we have more fire res. I'm gonna use this right now. And there are a lot of blazes here. Dude, get away from me. I hate damaging things in this game because it just feels so awkward to have to be aiming around with the same button and like everything else that you used to damage and all. Okay, so how many blaze rods do we have right now? I was trying to talk, but then I got interrupted by trying to do other stuff. Come on, I just need a couple more drops. What, that's one and that is not two what we can also do to speed things up a little bit is do this to get more blaze drops but i don't think i will because i oh wait i have five i did not notice that okay um i thought i didn't get my last drop but we are gonna use this fire resistance just in case i'm gonna drop down here hooray that was a fun time and yeah not the greatest run in the world but it's doing its thing trust me i've spent literally around six hours trying to get a good run. The one time I did get a good run too, my save got corrupted, which wasn't very fun, like my video did. And now I have to do this again. So there we go. We can go right back in here. We have all the pearls and all the different things we're gonna need. Now we just gotta go fast. Okay, we also have this portal, which is in a kind of annoying spot because we have all that fire that's coming down. So we're gonna have to go through here. Actually, we have fire res, don't we? How much do we have left? Okay, never mind. I don't even have to worry about that. Excuse me, lava. I'm just gonna come through. And we're gonna make a couple of things that we're gonna need. So we need our blaze powder. We need our 10 eyes of ender. We can go right through here because this is a two eye. That's the reason why we didn't have to get more blaze powder or anything like that. So we can go through, make the end portal. And now I have to prepare my inventory for what I need. Time to hope this all works out, I guess. <laughs> Okay, this is gonna be a scary part. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna pearl right over there. I'm like blanking on what thing I need to get out right now. Blocks, I need blocks. What is wrong with me? Oh, I'm so nervous. We'll just use gravel. We can see it doesn't really matter that we took too much time because we had to wait for him to perch anyway. He perches pretty fast, which is nice. And what we can do is first, we wanna shoot him in the face and that will make our hits do more damage to him. So now you can see we're doing a good amount of damage. We wanna hit him five times right there go over here, put some crying or regular obsidian down, mine right there, and place our first bed. And what we're gonna wanna do is go out four blocks right here, bridge up 11 times, and my heart is beating so fast right now. And we can place our lava bucket. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna push down the dragon. Hello? No! You're kidding me. Okay, well, as long as we get him to perch again, this should be fine. But yeah, I just messed up the kill. What did I die to? So I just spent another three hours failing over and over again because of piglin trades. And I just can't take it anymore. And then I also got another run and my iPad refused to save the video because I had too little space. So because I don't want to go crazy, I'm just going to show you what the end of the fight should look like. My problem was I wasn't close enough to the left, so I couldn't place the beds. You can see me. Do them right here. Yeah, it's really not that hard. That's all I had to do. And that's Minecraft Pocket Edition speedrunning, I guess.